Hello everyone, this is Mr. No. Today I wanted to talk about a tool called Zero Blur. So you might have come across this problem when you are sharing the screen, you sometimes don't want to share some areas of your screen. Maybe like a username or uh, confidential information that you put in, you don't want to share with the people uh, you are sharing the screen with. Or it might be a screen recording. So in that case, you can use a neat tool called Zero Blur. It's a Chrome extension you can download and install for free this plugin in your Chrome. So after you do that, you can blur certain areas in your screen. Now, after you enter it, you just click here and say edit blur. Now it asks you which all area you want to blur. So I am saying in this site, I want to blur this login area. I want to blur this area. So um, you can even uh, increase or decrease the intensity of blur. Now in the next page, then after that you just click on this finish editing. Now I'm going to put here some other place like Delhi and say switch. In this screen, it is again going to ask me what all you want to blur. So I'm going to say here I want to blur this one. The login area again so it's gonna blur that now when I look at the prices and if we don't want to blur this just click delete and it will not blur now if I click on prices and say book now in this screen I want to blur certain things again here I want to blur um, the login area that you see here I want to blur this then I want to blur the confidential information that I usually enter. That is the mobile number and the email area, which I don't want to show to the users. So I can blur that area too. After doing all those things, I can click on the finish editing button. Now what you see is this is enabled. Now if I want to share the screen, this is how it will look like. These areas will be blurred. And now if I go to the next screen, you can see here also this area will be blurred as decided earlier. Now if I go to the prices and say book now for any ticket, again as you remember this area is blurred. And even this area is blurred. But I can type in as you can see here, it says not a valid number. I can type in so that's a valid number so this area is again uh, email I find I find this tool is very useful and nothing like in the market currently which will be very useful for, to you I hope this is useful thank you very much subscribe now and press the bell icon never miss an update